guys, welcome back to Home Built. And this week, hopefully, we will actually get the entire rear end finally lined up. Okay guys, so last week you saw me getting stuck in and getting the boot floor all sorted out. So now the boot floor is actually lined up and connected in, in this car, but the rear end is just sort of roughly sitting here at this stage. It's not actually uh, lined up properly. I need to actually try and line this panel up uh, all the way around with the rear quarters and line the, uh, the boot up perfectly with the, uh, with the edges here. So I think it's time to start getting stuck into it. All right, so now it's time to actually start trying to line this boot up with this rear panel and get everything sitting just right. Now, one of the things that Tim has mentioned quite a few times is that this lip along the edge here on most Alphas actually usually sits a little bit too far inwards. You, you really need to get the rubber on the car, um, which I have here, and it has to line up with into the groove in the, um, in the boot here. So what happens is it often sort of touches here and people have a lot of trouble trying to get this boot to fit. So sometimes you have to sort of tweak the edge, you know, forwards or backwards to get it sitting nicely in that track. And the next thing I need to do is I need to have a look at this, this boot here. I know that the, uh, the line I've got here sits quite good at the moment. And on this reproduction panel, just this corner here, it, it actually looks like it must be um, sort of... Uh, tweaked in the factory whether it's welded or, or whatever but it's it's a little bit too sharp there and uh, the boot without any rubber in is actually touching it to get the perfect alignment so we need to make sure that that's clear so I might need to grind that back and uh, tidy that up but before I do any of that I think I need to get this boot straight and that means look at this dent over here that I put in it so those of you who are watching from the start will have seen that I was very frustrated with myself. I had the uh, Alpha on the hoist before I even paint stripped it. And uh, I had the boot up and raised it up to the ceiling, not thinking that the boot was up, not realizing. And one of the bolts in my shed, actually uh, I lifted it into the bolt. So I made this dent in here. In an otherwise very clean original boot panel, which I'm quite annoyed with. But um, what I'm gonna do is, uh, first things first, I need to get rid of this dent. I need to fix it up. And that's where this is gonna come in. Now you might have seen me use this a few times uh, already on some of the panels to help shrinking, but uh, its actual intended purpose is it's a stud welder. It's designed to weld on these little studs onto, onto a panel, particularly where it's double thickness, and this boot lid is double thickness, so I can't get in behind to knock that dent out. So what I can do is I can weld on a few of these little studs, connect it onto a slide hammer, and pull them out. So that's the plan. So let's actually see if this thing will actually do what it's intended to do. All right, there was lots of backwards and forwards with that. The dent is out. Um, I used the MIG and then I went in through and used the TIG. It looks like there's, every time I was welding it, it was sort of shrinking it back. So I've just decided that's enough. It's gonna need a tiny little skim over it, but it's pretty flat. Um, there's a very tiny low just up here. You can see from the sanding. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's gonna need the thinnest, thinnest little skim to, to, uh, to tidy it up, but uh, that will do the job. So um, let's move on and let's fit a rubber. All right, so you can see here that the uh, 
this rear panel is just, it's the wrong shape. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come through, because this boot corner, that's the way it should be shaped and it should have a panel gap all the way around the outside. So what I'm gonna come through and do now, because this is level this way, so that's fitting well there, it's a little bit high here, it needs to come down further. I'm gonna to have to clearance that corner out now and uh, just see if we can get this to fit just a little bit better. Okay, so I managed to grind this corner away and, um, and get a sort of a better line with the boot now. So that sits really nicely. It is supposed to overlap this uh, panel all the way along. Um, and over this end, it's uh, also fitting quite nicely, overlapping nicely now. This boot was sitting quite high here and even when you felt it, it felt like it was sort of, it was lifting up in the air. And uh, I took it off and I just did a little bit of uh, um, hammering on a block and I've got it sitting beautifully now. So now that all sits really nice. The panel line, it looks really good all the way along, but this corner here is sitting a little bit high still. And um, what I might do is I might take that same block and, uh, and I'll just show you how I manipulated this edge to get it to sit just right. So my current issue I'm just trying to sort out with this rear panel is along this edge here, this particular panel, uh, the far side is good. This side has this wave in it that's, uh, that doesn't line up with the rear panel on this car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off now and I'm going to do a little bit of panel beating on this edge to try and get it to curve just nicely the way I want it. All right, so the issue I'm having at the moment is I'm fitting this rear panel on and from standing back, looking at the car, trying to get the curve of either side just right, I found that this rear panel, at least uh, the way I've built the boot and everything in this car, it appears that uh, there's a bit of a gap between the rear panel and the side panel. So they don't quite meet up trying to get things in the right spot. So what I've gone and done, to try and get it as accurate as possible. Now, this is all, basically it's all cosmetic. The suspension we know is nice and straight on this car. The rear end is basically a matter of getting it to fit. Uh, I had lots of comments in the past, people saying, why didn't you take one panel off at a time? Those who actually have watched the, uh, the whole progression will know that the back end of this car was completely smashed up. Nothing was straight, nothing was square. So I'm starting from scratch, really, um, as you can see. So there was, no, there was no good reference. It wasn't worth taking a panel off at a time because it was all wrecked anyway. Um, what I'm gonna use, I've got this uh, like uh, tailor's tape, uh, measuring tape for, uh, for clothing. Um, I'm gonna use this and take some measurements from known points on the car and try and work out the sort of the right distances I need to get uh, around the car and see, just just try and make sure that either side is nice and even and nice and square so that it all sort of looks right when I uh, finally weld it all together. Well, that measuring showed me that this this top corner is, it's it's about five, five mil or so too far out this way on this side compared to the other side. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just going to take the boot floor out because the boot floor is the main thing that's sort of stopping this edge, this this panel going back in. Take the boot floor out, trim a little bit off the back so I can tuck it in just that little bit tighter and uh, I think we should be good. And then hopefully everything lines up nicely and we're cooking with the gas. So I refit this panel up without the boot floor in there and um, it sits much, much better now. Um, that is the way it should be. So uh, I'm gonna 
take it back off, refit the floor, and then um, hopefully I should be able to just finish this edge off, get it looking nice, and uh, we will actually have a rear end lined up. It's a long, hard road to try and get this stuff right. Okay, so as you've seen, um, the rear end is fitting much better now, but getting the line right on this edge has just been a, um, has been a bit of a challenge with this panel. And um, I've got a few sort of, it looks like it needs a little bit of shrinking just here to just uh, help along its way. You've got a couple of little peaks that, are, that keep forming that uh, I've tried to panel beat out and they just keep coming back. So I'm gonna try shrinking the metal here a little bit and see if that helps just pulling everything a bit tighter and pull it into line. So uh, let's give the uh, shrink a stretcher a go and uh, see how it looks. That is looking much, much better. I need to hit the uh, shrinker a little bit more on this one here, but um, that is so much better fit straight away. It makes such a huge difference having the right tools and that shrinker stretcher definitely helps doing that, this, uh, this job. Just getting, it, just getting it right. So let's take it off one more time. Let's see if we can just shrink this little bit here and then I can pretty much call this rear panel fitted. So I've just found here another source of my problems. This uh, corner of this boot floor section, I've drawn a line around here because this corner is just pushing too far this way. So I'm gonna take the boot floor out again and just knock that corner in. And uh, that should sort out a lot of my problems and get the whole back end sitting nice and flat and square. It's amazing how much work it takes just to get these few little things right, but I think it's gonna be worthwhile spending this time down the track. I think I finally have it sorted that this rear panel is finally in its place and it's working and it's the way it's supposed to be. Oh, the amount of times I took it on and off and on and off and only a fraction of those are actually on camera. This thing has been just a little tweak here and there, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on. <laughs> so much work. But that's what it takes. So now it's time to go through and actually um, screw down the floor everywhere I need to screw it down, get everything ready to go so that I can weld the floor in because that's the first step really on doing the, the, um, the back of this car is actually weld the floor in solid and then there's no turning back. So let's make sure I got it right. All right, I am over the moon with how that's all come together. The, uh, the fitment finally is really, really nice. It's, uh, it's nice and tight all the way around. There's good panel gaps uh, around the boot now. It's, it's all looking really, really good. The last thing, the very last thing to fit in is this panel, which is, uh, it's actually the, the boot latch panel that actually the, the, the latch uh, attaches to. It, it sits on the inside, just, just there, so um, this is the old panel off of my car. You can get reproduction ones, but this one was still in reasonably good shape. I just sort of panel beat a couple of the dents out of it because it was, it was a little bit mangled, particularly down the bottom here. It was, uh, it was a bit mangled and there's some, some old um, bits of sheet metal and stuff on here that I'm gonna have to grind down. So I'll just uh, tidy this up and get it ready to fit into the car. And once this is in, we're done for we're, we're all ready to weld up, which is fantastic. And 
and that is done. We have panel gaps all the way up around. It's all sitting really nicely. The boot is all in. Everything sits nicely inside the boot. It's all lined up nicely. This inner panel is all in place. I need to trim the uh, the very bottom there, but that's no, no real big issue. When I weld it in, that'll be fine. And even the boot is fitting reasonably well. I'm gonna do a little bit more tweaking. Uh, it's gonna need more tweaking once it's all welded together, just to make sure that everything is perfect, but it is looking really good. And the panel gap on this side, the panel fit is quite good. There's a little bit, uh, that's just a little bit proud there. That's that's easy fix. So, um, awesome. That is, that is done. That is lined up. It's fantastic. It's been a long run getting all these panels on the back, where I want them, where they need to be lined up so that everything is straight and square and the way it's supposed to be. Now it is done, that means I can actually take it all off the car and actually start welding it up, which I'm going to have to do next week because I'm out of time. So that means it's time for Fun Facts with Mrs. Jeff. Hey guys, another Alfa that you may not have heard of is the Alfa Romeo Romeo, or Auto Tutto, which loosely translates as all-purpose car. Released in 1954, these bore a bit of a resemblance to a Volkswagen Transporter, but featured a one-piece curved windscreen and suicide doors. They were either powered by a two-stroke twin-cylinder diesel or by the all-new twin-cam 1.3-litre four-cylinder, which was destined for the Drilletta Berlina. The standard van body offered great access to the cargo area via a large single rear door, while the Romeo was also offered as a van configuration for passenger transport or for light truck transporting. The Romeo was upgraded to the Romeo 2 in 1957 and then to the Romeo 3 in 1966. Between 1954 and 1966, there were about 23,000 of them produced. All right, that has been several long weeks of lining panels up. It, um, it seems like very slow, tedious work because it is, but <laughs> it's done. But you're the man for the job. Yes, <laughs> I'm glad for punishment. And uh, I, it's worth taking my time now and do it right now. So then it's all nice and pretty when it's done. Yeah. That's, the, that's yeah, the plan. Anyway. I think we've learned that lesson. Yes. So um, it is coming along nicely. Um, all right, well, uh, make sure you uh, you guys go and check out uh, Porsche Parts by Jeff. I know this is an Alfa Romeo, and Alfa, Alfa Parts by Jeff is coming, but PorschePartsByJeff.com is uh, is going strong. Go and have a look and uh, see what you think. Yeah, let us know what you think. Parts really good to the site that uh, we're, we're doing now, so um, let us know. Yeah, I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, if you'd like to see the show a day early, please join us on Patreon. Otherwise... Just Facebook and Instagram. All yeah, and if you Jeff. like it and subscribe, that'd be awesome. Yeah. All right, guys. See you guys. See ya. I need to light you properly, otherwise, you know, it shows what you really look like. That is so rude. <laughs> <laughs> you should put that on. That's funny. That you like. <laughs> Which Lucy translates as alpha. No. <laughs> oh, this is quite a hard bit. Yeah. They were either powered by the all-new two-point cam cylinder. God, it's like, how can you put all the most complicated phrases in one sentence? I don't think I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> or powered by the upcoming 1.34 cam. Yeah, that's the way. Four cylinder. I can't do it. It's too hard. I don't have to break it up. I can't do it, Jeff. The standard band body. Standard band body. Bear, bear. <laughs> um, truck? Or something just to drive around and with your friends? <laughs> Van body offered awesome rear access. <laughs> I can't, I have no idea what I'm saying. Didn't think that was ever going to end. <laughs>